goal for this year and every year doesn't change. We want to win championships. I never not think about that game. And the Northeast Generals, they have slayed Granite City. It's always going to be in the back of my mind. Definitely stinks, but we want to get back there and we will get back there. We had a really good chance to win the whole darn thing last year. And I hope this group puts themselves in the same spot. I've never really had a group that was able to comprehend and pick up on things that we're asking them to do as fast as this group has. Yeah, I think a lot of the new guys are following behind a lot of the um, older guys that are leading the way. I think we have a good leadership group around. We're friends here, but during practice to get better, we gotta go after each other, so that's what we've been doing. still have plenty of work to do um, and I think for for us right now it's just raising the compete level every day and making sure that we go to battle with each other during the week to make the weekends easier. Um, the Greenwich City Lumberjacks, it's a, it's a family. It's a, it's a group I've been a part of, I want to say, probably for 12 years, maybe longer. Um, I work in the USHL. I work in the NA for, for three other teams. Um, uh, it's, it's right now, it's, 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 it's always been one of the favorite teams for me to work for, just the way I am treated. My family was treated when they come down here. Um, it, it's just, a, it's a special place to play. Um, honestly, if it was up to me and my kid wanted to play here, it would be, it'd be a no-brainer. I would recommend anybody to play here under our coaching staff. And it starts at the top. Our ownership is is top-notch, and it just works its way down to, you know, guys that are even work below me that it's just, it's just a, it's a family thing. And everyone cares a ton about the success of the organization, and we want your, your, your son or, you know, a family member to, to come here and just be a better young man and also a, a hockey player that we can hopefully move on to a college or um, just a, a learning experience for life. Yeah, the, I mean, with John, Brad, Rock, and Matt, um, luckily I've, I've been around for 12 years, so I kind of know how, how it works and the dynamics. But what I'll say is they, I mean, if we need something or the, the guys ask for something, or I have to go ask for something, we're not told no very often. Um, Granted's got to have a benefit to it and things like that, but um, they they allow me to kind of work freely um, and to do whatever I want with the boys. Obviously, Brad, Brad specifically, I've learned a lot from the man, and um, so when there are, there are times where 
I want his opinion or have questions on whatever it may be, he's always there. Um, and then Johnny's been a, a staple in this community. Johnny and Rock have been staples in this community for as long as I've been a part of it. So um, to have those guys back us as well, is uh, it's pretty special. And there's a reason that I've been around so long and decided to kind of have put roots in the ground here. And, and this is kind of where my family plans on being for minimum the foreseeable future. And that obviously isn't a light decision, but it's something that the ownership group has a lot to do with. Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome back to another season here in the Granite City. My name is Joe Clements, that's Paul Vold, and we are excited to be back here once again. Feels like just yesterday the season had ended, and here we are, September, right where everybody plans hockey to start, and we are more excited now than we ever have been. Yeah, I mean, I've had this date circled on my calendar pretty much since the season ended, looking forward to another great season here with this Granite City Lumberjack squad. Ready to go? Okay, a lot of you guys first junior hockey game. Some of you guys last open opener, home opener. Have fun, emotionally under control. These guys will try and get under your skin, through your, screw your heads on straight, and let's go to work here. They're trying, if we try and do what they do, it's gonna be a long night, let's be us, let's play fast. Get on the bodies, but all in all, you're gonna make mistakes tonight. It's game one. It's gonna happen. Make them go in a million miles an hour and make sure we communicate with each other and fix things on the fly. Other than that, patient in the neutral zone, play on top of them in the neutral zone. Know what you're doing on face-offs. Face-offs the only set play in the game. Make sure you know what you're doing, what your responsibilities are there. Other than that, let's have fun, ask questions, but let's fucking go play. We are underway for the Suck Rampage. Game one. <laughs> Down below the circle, right out in front of the drive, they score! Alexandria lights the lamp first! <laughs> this one gets in front, they score! Puck was loose, Serene had it! Not bad. I mean, first period, first game, pretty good. I think we can play faster and we can be – like, I, I ain't going to break through. I don't think we're very hard to play against. Like, I think we're pretty easy to play against. Right? We don't have the biggest group. We skate well. But we can't rely on our speed and our skill to win us games. It's not going to work. You have to be hard to play against. You have to finish checks, yada, yada, yada. And I'm never going to ask you to run around like a fucking donkey and try and rip people's faces off. But there's something to be said for like skating at a guy. Like we love to skate at a guy and then like stop and slow down and then hit him. How about you just run him through the fucking wall and try and hurt him? Like, I'm sorry, but it's big boy hockey. And then the next time you come, he's going to be shitting and shitting his pants because he knows you're going to run right through him. So we have to be better at being hard to play against and we have to be better defensively, right? Find your guys to communicate. It's the hardest part. A lot of guys aren't even asked to play defense until they get here. I get that. We have to take pride in what we do in that end, and we'll win a lot of games because of it. Alex, team, could give a fuck about playing defense. They don't want to. They're not interested in it. That's why when we get the puck below the goal line, we're pretty fucking good. Like, you get the puck all the way down there, they struggle because their D can't go back and get it under pressure and get it out. So keep the game simple. Don't need fucking toe drags and all this shit. Don't get me wrong, you can beat a guy one-on-one, -on -one, great, but there's time and a place for it. It's not at the blue lines. It's out of a corner or something. Be good at the blue lines. Make the game easy on yourselves and your own end and communicate. Side by Hanson. Home run opportunity, Granite City. It's going to be fresh out of the box. Shot scored! Ty Smith makes it a 3-1. Granite City lead. Out of He's connecting left and right. Collins with a couple of good moves. He scores! Ew. Backhanded top shelf. Brings right in Ashton Collins. The neutral zone across center ice. Another shot 
Black into the net it goes for Fletcher deflected off the blocker and in and we are tied at three. And he scores! Easton Porter answers back for Granite City. and the blizzards do hammer one home and the deficit is cut in half. Targeted off the face to your side. You can't with a drive up and over the crossbar. One more time in front your side. Trying to fire one through. Kick save again. Another save from Hanson. Two huge saves. Cut down below. Near side. Get a go pass out in front. What a save. A whistle blown and Hanson might have just kept it alive. Puck's on the far side, big save again. Puck is loose, no time left. Granite City wins. An absolute thriller on opening night. Granite City victorious, five to four. Holy Christmas. It's gonna be a year. Yeah, I mean, it was unbelievable, the amount of fans um, that we had at the building. Um, I, I think all the rookies, even the older guys, were a little bit nervous at first, but um, just making sure they're, they're playing calm, doing their thing, doing all the little things right. Um, after the first shift, I mean, most of the guys seemed like they were ready to go, and the nerves kind of chilled out a little bit, but it was a great first team win. I mean, we could definitely clean some things up, but, I mean, I'm proud of the boys. We got it done. Yeah, that crowd opening night was incredible. Um, it was, I, I seemed to me like it was standing room only, and even for warm ups, the stands were full, and you know it's going to be a good night when that's the case. Um, outside of that, we ended up winning, but I thought it was sloppy for the most part. And that's, I mean, it's game one, it's the beginning of the year, and that's what's going to happen. And then it's the, my job and the staff's job to fix it and get them going in the right direction. Um, I think we can be better defensively. And I think we can we can clean up some things on that end of the rink. Offensively, I thought we were we were just fine, um, and I think that'll get better with getting the right combinations of guys and just being around each other a little more than I mean. I think we skated ten days before we played, and so um, I think it'll only continue to get better. But again, we we need to put the work in and, and focus during the week in order to get to where we want to go.